Now at six, Catholic leaders identify nearly 300 priests and clergy members accused of sexually abusing children all across Texas. Nearly 60 of them worked in San Antonio and the surrounding areas. Good evening, I'm Jeff Brady. It is the bombshell report many have been anticipating now for months. Eyewitness reporter Jalisa Irizarry was at today's announcement and has the details. We did not act in a timely manner, realizing the magnitude and the gravity of the damage done to so many lives. Archbishop Gustavo Garcia Sierra described the release of this report as a new commitment to holiness and justice. We acknowledge as an ecclesial community that we were not where we should have been. There are dozens of credible allegations in this report, but according to the Archdiocese, there are none from 2010 to present. There were two from 2000 and 2009. Both of those priests were removed and prosecuted. And the names are continuing to come out. Following today's address, the Archdiocese added another priest to the list, Charles Miller, who was credibly accused for sexual abuse in 2007 for an incident in 1980. We don't know if more will be named, but the Archbishop says another allegation was reported yesterday from an incident that happened decades ago. He says, unfortunately, he expects other survivors to come forward. None of those named today are currently with the Archdiocese at this time. There are no truly enough times that we and I can express contrition, regret, and remorse to this person who carried this unbearable pain and burden for many decades. I believe prayer, humility, and truth will bring healing. Julissa Rosari, Kent's 5 Eyewitness News. And tonight, Bear County District Attorney Joe Gonzalez is telling us what happens next now that these allegations from the Catholic Church have been made public. In a statement, Gonzalez said that law enforcement will have to investigate these cases like any other crime before they can be filed with the DA's office. Gonzalez also noted that many of the cases may be beyond the statute of limitations and that any crime that happened before September 1987 probably cannot be prosecuted because it's just too old of an alleged offense. Gonzalez added, quote, our hands are tied if the law says that these cases are beyond the statute of limitations. I would hope that those individuals would avail themselves of counseling and do what they need to do to feel some closure, end quote. Now you can find continuing coverage on today's child abuse, uh, child sexual abuse report at kins5.com or our Kins5 app. We've posted the entire report from the Archdiocese of San Antonio online, and you can also find other links to other reports released around the state of Texas.